The Seagull. So I didn't know in the last video, if you watch it, we went live early today in Leeds and we talked about the video. You've not seen the Seagulls. I know. It's called Rob from Boston. No. <laughs> What's he called? <laughs> Frank from Boston? He's from fucking Boston. Richie from Boston. Richie from Boston. Richie from Boston. Richie from Boston, great video. And I, I really appreciate what you're doing. You're out there to debunk these things and then you bring it to demons in some way or blue beam. But I can see that it is birds and I can see that it is a lo-fi camera with, um, what do they call it? A When, the, when a camera has a, 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 a time difference. I don't know what it is. But I would imagine that is my, it, my answer is I can't answer it because I have to much the cheapest and then we've we already gone through the cheapest we, one we, and we, we've already been out having lots of drinks. Yeah. But I think it's if like, this project blue bean bean um is a government funded system where it will distract the world with holographic images. Good for them and I think that's fantastic. If that's what's gonna do it for you, that's brilliant. For them to then spend, I would imagine, millions to project a really shitty image of some birds flying around is probably an absolute waste of time, Richie from Boston. Oh, it was just seagulls. But... I, no, I, I do actually like Rich from I know, Boston. I know, and I love him as well. He's got a vibe, got not he? He's got a... Hey, it's Richie. You know, if you want to subscribe, subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, don't fucking subscribe. I don't care what you subscribe to my channel, motherfucker. Richie from Boston. Like, share, subscribe, or don't. Ah, be a barackers. But... <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not, no, but I, I don't know anything about your friends and channel. But I would imagine that Blue Beam wouldn't be anything interesting in, in doing that kind of thing. Or he said it would maybe be the last card. The last, the last the final card, card of the Illuminati. You're speaking loud, your wife is going to come down and keep her. The right. last card of the, the Illuminati are coming to my country, taking my jobs, putting seagulls in the sky. No, I don't Fuck think... Fuck me. It. The Illuminati are coming into my country. Coming into this country, putting seagulls. Putting seagulls in in the... No, I think... I think it, is it called Occam's Razor? Where, you know, if it's the most obvious answer, it probably is the answer. So why is it they glowed like that? Right, yeah. what's it, what's You're right. What, what's it, what's right, it? who is this person? One second. I, okay, this is a question for you, Eyes of the Beholder 33. Why does the moon glow? Because the, the moon has no radius, so radioactive or, or, or any sort of energy. So why does the moon glow at night? You're asking why do the seagulls glow? Why did the moon glow? Answer that, and that is your answer for the other question. My opinion, the moon glows because of the sun. Which is the same thing on the seagulls. The light that is around you. You're, you're religious, so... Oh, I'm religious, so that must mean that I believe that... You're Christian, you should, be, you should believe in flat earth. You should believe in flat earth, and Christians should believe that it's the end of the world. No, we're Christians, and we believe that nonsense is nonsense at the end of the day. So... The reason the seagulls glowed is the same thing anything glows at night is because if something's in the sky and they're white, it will reflect a light that shine upon them. As it much was a shit camera. It was a shit camera as well. As well. But it was Fox News. That's what Richie, what Richie from Boston said. It's Fox News. Well, Richie, you're wrong there because I did a little bit of information on myself when I found it wasn't Fox News. Mate, that was from the that voice weather sound, camera. You sound like a twat. Oh, listen, this. Hey, oh, uh, oh, listen, I told you this thing that uh, was a weather camera. So, uh, uh, anyway, no, I would imagine it's uh, just any reflective light of a white right. source. Guys. I'll turn the lights off and see if anything reflects. My beard? Oh, how is thing? How can you see us if the light's not on? Ah, oh, my hand. Oh, no, it's actually, it's no, that's a good awesome. de- no, that is a quite good debunk actually because. Oh, well, I get a torch. I think I think people can see us still in the light because because there's another light source that's reflecting. Got it. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Are you serious? I don't know what it means. The seagulls react to frequency and strange weather patterns. No, they're not. They're just eating bugs in the sky. So, birds. Off. Birds just. I did not know. Are, are so basic. Seagulls fucking eat bugs in the sky. Are you fucking kidding me? 
Well, I imagine that most birds would eat whatever is available. That's and probably you've and made that was, up. Okay, I am making it up, but you've got to think of the generalness. Why would birds fly made around? That up. So it's if, made if that there up. was like midgets, midges, they got midges over Mid- there. You can't say midgets. No midges. Oh, midges, midges, midges or uh, insects or, mi- or mosquitoes, they call them over there. Amoebas. Just anything fly in the sky, a, a cloud of them for any reason with the, with the heat or I don't know. Then they would be. Mojito! Hey! Mojito! Cause the shit. So they would be probably circling around trying to eat some bugs. I don't know, but you know, birds do weird shit, like, don't they? I look out my window and I see these pigeons fly around stupidly. Seagulls react to frequency and strange weather patterns. The real action was happening 30 miles south. I witnessed it. Yes, I witnessed it. Good for you, man. <laughs> Pat, are you, are you saying that, that you, you've seen the seagulls do the same? So you're saying it is seagulls, 100%? Well, he's moved on. He said, the moon was distorted and set in the wrong spot the night of the light show. Yes, that was shitty camera. Yes, I think they were seagulls. But I'm telling you, the light show went down 30 miles south of Milwaukee. So what happened, Pat? What happened 30 miles south of Milwaukee? Maybe... The seagulls were a distraction because seagulls can be paid with bread. That's easy saying. Okay, well, why hasn't anyone asked what the fuck are a flock of... He said that there. Are a flock of seagulls flying around in the middle of the night in winter in the Midwest? Keep your voice down because your wife's going to come down and fucking kick your clock Catholic ass. She's an Irish Catholic as well. Hey. Sure, she'll give me a black eye, she will. Um, you think, no, I think it's got that. Okay. So, good point, Pat. So, you got some good points, but you need to kind of help us understand them. Mate, don't fucking slide off my subscribers. You need to help us understand them, please. So, tell us, do seagulls not fly in winter? Budapest. <laughs> What's that? It's cold and snowy here. It's fucking not a lot cold and snowy here. here. All right, so maybe it's not bugs. I don't know. I'm just throwing some ideas out here. We're going to think, again, it's just Occam's razor. What is the most obvious answer and go with that? Or it could just, we could just say, oh, it's just, it's just, um, sorry, sorry I dropped it. It's just pouring a glass of wine. It's, it's just North North Korea projecting, projecting onto what did the tell sky. You? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What did I say to you? Don't be sarcastic. Don't say anything about North Korea. He never said that, actually. He said, <laughs> I've got to tell you what not to say. Alright, okay. No, okay. I don't. So what? Right. Bugger. I think she Bug- Did you say bugger pest? I think he means bugs and pests, not Budapest. Budapest. I love Budapest. I love to go to Budapest. Okay, I've got something here that's really good. It's from Essay 1000, word or less. The Bible says God's an alien in black and white. I believe it. Okay. Where? Well, yeah. I want to see yeah. that. Where? Essay? Where? Be nice to know. The Bible says... God's an alien in black and white. Where? Yeah. Have you read the Bible? No. Well, yes, of course I've read the fucking Bible. I'm dyslexic, so What does not, he mean? Does he I mean... I couldn't be asked. It's too long. <laughs> the God is omnipotent. What's that mean? Good news. What's omnipotent? Catholic. What the fuck does omnipotent mean? It kind of means everywhere. I fucking told you. Don't fucking use words. I don't understand. It means he's on everywhere. My he can see and everything and do everything. But... Does that mean he's trying to make me look like... I guess you might, but I, I might, I may agree with you. He's trying to make me look like a twat. No, no, no. By using words that I don't understand. He, he I, essay, I may agree with Why you. Why call me essay? Go. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not, not Spanish. Spanish. I'm not straight. <laughs> no, it's Mexican, isn't it? Hey, is it? Hey, is it? Um, good news, Catholic Revs. I don't understand that, to be honest. Essay. The Bible says God's an alien in black and white. I believe it. Great, but, but I don't understand where. Just show me where. We'll get the Bible out and we'll look. Ooh. Now, if this is Pat on the back. Now, if we see Flock of Seagulls up there, I would have to say that would be the last card. <laughs> well, I got last card because that's from Bob from the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> Bob from the Bronx. Barry from the Bronx. Barry from the Bronx. No, it's someone from Boston. Richie from Boston. Richie from Boston. Oh, Richie from Boston. He says that's the last yeah, card. Yeah, I don't, Richie I don't get from that. Boston says it's the, the last one card. Too. I'm got, tempted to do a video on it. Kills. I don't know if it can be asked. Nine are gone. I it's might do. If you want me to do a video on it, please comment in this video. If you want me to do a video on that, I don't know if I can be bothered to do it. But Security Intent has debunked it, and I'm quite. I'll be honest with you. 
I've done a lot of debunks on Security Intent, and he's changed his channel. And he's done. He's changed his tune. He's changed his tune. Changed his tune. And he's kind of. Yes, all through. Don't move it. Don't move it. Move it. Let me talk about Tyler. Tyler, here's a great point for you. I don't know who you are. I showed you the video tonight. Oh, which one is that then? The Security Intent video. What did you do, sir? The debunk of the secret. Oh, he goes, hey guys! <laughs> hey guys! I'm Taylor. I don't think this is uh, anything at all. I think it's uh, nothing much to talk about. It's just Fox 6 and 666. Oh no, that was uh, Richie. He said that Fox 6 was oh, no. 6. Hey guys, I'm Richie from Boston. And 666 is what Fox News is. So, you know, you, know, you don't want to believe them because it's the devil. You know what I'm saying? No, no, that's what he said, didn't he? 666 is the Fox News channel. But it, but it may be, and that may be the fact. Do the mathematical. Do talking? what math? No, because yeah. it, there's no such thing as numerology, so now I'm not going to do it. You hear that? Jesus What's Christ. that? What did you say? What did you say? Tell, tell. There is no such thing as numerology. We can make numbers turn into anything we want. So what's it? What is it? Numerology means Richie from Boston. Richie from Boston. There's no. Such thing I like your channel. Stop trying to make it something. But stop and fucking trying to that... make it something it isn't. Whoa, I've got a good question here. You both are as cute as hell. Pat on the back. Ooh. What does Alien Addict think of third phase of the moon? No, third phase of the moon. Yeah, I'd have a pint with you. However, you talk shit. If it is third phase of the moon. No, it was someone they told you. Was. No, I know it's not third phase of moon. What I'm saying is, what do they think of? What do I think of third phase of moon? I would have a pint. I would. Have, I'd have a glass of wine. Down with two bottles gone. Down with third and phase, and third phase of moon, because they seem like nice I gents. Much I pay for two. However, pounds. I think they talk bollocks. But I would have a drink with them because I think they would be quite fun to drink with. Well, there we go. If that makes any sense. So can we talk about literacy? However, if you're talking about UFO shit, I think they fake everything. Right, I'm going to bring the... Right, we'll talk a little bit about music. So here is um, no, the music we're playing, playing at the minute. No, no. I've got my piano here. No. We're going to play a bit of piano for you. Oh, make, make your wife's in bed. She's not in bed. His wife's in bed. She's awake, listen to us. I'll talk to you while he plays piano. Have you ever seen this on a live stream? Are we getting piano? Really? We are playing a piano tonight. Can you make a song about third phase of the moon? This is a song, song about, about the third phase of the moon. Phase of the moon. Phase of the moon. I can't remember how to play it. I'm full pistol. Right, uh, and then we've got Lego here. There's some. Um, we've got lots of Lego. Our favourite Lego pieces at the minute are. Terror Dog, but that's not Lego, that's... Um, oh my god, look at this old twat. That's fun. And the book that I'm currently reading... What? This book. Why is it Why are you trying to eat your kids? Um, it's my kid's toy. It's like a little gift toy. That's his kid's toy. Ah, sorry. Eat Dana. That's Dana. Remember? Stu, you need to come and have a drink with me, you little twat. Eat Dana. Dana, Dana Barrett. Dana, no, Dana Carter. Hey, Dana Barrett. That's Dana saying. Barrett Dana from, from Ghostbusters, but I don't know. Yeah, Dana Barrett. So, okay, so I'm up for questions and answers about England, aliens, UFOs. Um, England? England's got nothing to do with it. Because a lot of people are from England, so we can answer those, you know. Catholicism. Me and Stu Universe are all about going to uh, Randall's Gun Forest. Are you up for it? Going to Randall Shum Forest. You didn't say anything again. Randall Shum Forest. That's not a thing. Do you put, put it in the chat. We're going to Randall Shum Forest, aren't we? It's true. Randall Shum Forest. Randall Shum Forest. Means All right. Is it just a camp out? It's universe in the chat. Hmm. Is in my videos beforehand. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've seen him, yeah. We're on about... You've met Stu, anyway. I know Stu, yes. And Callum. We're on about going to Randall Shum Forest. To do... Camping. To show round. Yeah. Yeah, right, camping, yes. Just it's, camping. it's the biggest it's easier. fucking UFO fucking. Oh, UFO. Right, okay. Oh, fucking. What? Oh, twat. we didn't talk about the UFO I saw. Oh, fuck oh, shit. Okay. So, Catholic man with a fucking UFO. Okay, okay. Fuck off. So, so Ollie said to me, 
You're the Catholic. In the, why do you keep mentioning that? It's so weird. It's like if I was a black man, he's a black man. <laughs> this guy's a black man. It's got Catholic. Why you can't are you keep, racist? What are you on about? You can't keep mentioning somebody's difference because it's just weird. Just because you're religious doesn't mean to say I believe you are flat earth. No, no, no. You're just being weird. So, I was looking out in the daytime of this house out of the sky. And you can't see the sky now, probably because it's black. And where I live, we have um, predatory prey birds called kites. So, kites are like eagles and the big kites and the great. And I thought it was one of those. So, I watched it. And then it, it moved differently, and I realised it actually was it actually was disc like, and I thought it was a bit weird. I just like, and so naturally I went, ah, it's a drone. I thought, oh great, a drone. So I I got my wife and my kid, and I said, come look quick, quick, quick. There's a drone outside, and the drone was really cool. It was like flying really like weird and going back and forth, but in the day it just went whoosh. Straight up into the stratosphere, up into the sky. Hey, I'm not being. You know how how enthusiastic you are. To me, that looks like you're fucking lying your tits off. All right, okay. Uh, I don't need to lie about anything. I'm quite cool with my skin and who I am. I don't give a fuck about anyone and anything. But I never told anyone about this, and it was just a thing that happened. And we went. No, no, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm yeah, no, no, that's true. And then, saying, and then we I just said no. We no, just looked and we went. Re- oh, that's really fucking the, weird. No, Dean. The and reason, and we never no, mentioned no, it again no, no, until you asked me. I don't think you're lying. And what I'm saying is, but to me. When you said that there... Yeah, it sounded lying because I was so enthusiastic. It's too enthusiastic. Okay. You need to di- dim it. No, but I think that's what it, people dim, do on these dim, things. No, dim it. But it wasn't dim, just a dim, thing. Dim it down. We thought it was something, and then it and then it was the day, and it went whoosh, and we went, oh, fuck, it wasn't. And we don't know what it was, but it was very fast, and it was bigger than we thought, because we thought it was closer, but it was actually far further away. And it went up into... Sp- I don't want to say space, but up and gone. Why are you still doing up? Um. Heather, how are you doing, Heather? Uh, what are we still doing up? Well, we're enjoying a few bottles of wine, and we had a great gig tonight. We watched Elbow. Yes, mate, we got live. to sort out Rundlesham Forest. Heather, we've been to see your band live. Um, Elbow, and we are supported by John Grant, who is an American fella. And if you've just joined Heather, Dean is... Colorado or something. It makes me sound like a, a, re- a religious racist here, but Dean is Catholic. Mention that it's so fucking weird because I'm atheist. Well, you're not though. You just prove that I you believe in something. So I do believe in something. I don't know what I believe. <laughs> Who's Heather? He- you're married. Hello, it's my if you're new to the channel, fucking subscribe, you bastard. You know oh, you're not. A bastard. Said, uh, Jeff is a Roman Catholic. Who the, who is Jeff, Heather? Is Jeff your other half? Right. I'm I'm on about doing some interviews soon with some flat earth theorists that I'm friends with. Because I am friends oh, with flat earth theorists. Yes. So I'm friends with a couple of channels that are flat earth theorists. And I'm going to bring them on the channel. Is that a bad thing? I don't think that's a bad thing because I think it brings... It's great, isn't it? Isn't it great when people can believe in something? I mean... Uh, I don't believe in flat earth, flat earth at all. But it's it's at great. All. And, and But when you look at like... People are talking about the Antarctic. Is it Arctic or Antarctic? Where there's there's tunnels go like and the, the, the earth is hollow and you can go in the earth and there's stuff no, going on. That's cool as well. Oh, it's just cool. There's also the geo. I watched today. The geo today the geo I watched thing. Shape of No. What Shape of Light? What's that new film? Shape of the Earth. Shape that thing about the the monster lives on in the water, and it's Shape of Light. Oh fuck me! Is that's it a light film? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? What's it called now? But, but Stu, what's that? F- the shape Studios, of something. What's that? Sh- shape of Stu? What's light, that? I think it is. What's that film called, Stu? We watched it. I watched it. You told me to watch shape it. Shape of Water. Yes, it was yes. Shape. Yes. Shape of Water. Great, Fucking brilliant, great film. film, and really interesting because a you know, woman sleeps as a fish. Can I, have a, can I have a quick yes from everybody? Who just a yes, just a yes answer from everybody's in the chat who believes that in a higher power. No, that. The, yeah, yeah, thanks, Mark. <laughs> I haven't even said anything yet. That the the UFO phenomena is hell yeah yeah is gonna be something that's gonna come into mainstream media very soon, and it's gonna be false. So that again. So you're asking people to say yes or no. Do you believe the UFO phenomenon is real? You know what UFO means, unidentified. Yeah. Do you mean aliens? No, yeah, I'm talking about the whole fucking conspiracy. Oh, yes, you think that, that, that the... Yeah, I, I think so as well. Me. But, all right, I've got a better hey, one. Hey, look at that. No, no, 50-50. But do you think that... 
potentially everything we've learned from from the, the, the apparitions of aliens is something to do with religion as well. So when they do finally come to Earth, they say, ah, it's me, Jesus, in my spacecraft. <laughs> Why? Right, guys, SpaceX is real. Um, Robbie from Boston's a knob. <laughs> Robbie from <laughs> I don't know what Tyler is, but... Fucking uh, secure team 10. Secure team 10. I don't know what's going on there, but you go, hey, guys, and that's no good. Just don't do that. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. This is my video. What does Robbie from Boston do? And um, Catholics don't believe in Flat Earth. And... They do. What was the thing we talked about? Oh, I saw an alien. I saw a spaceship. That was cool. And um, we can knock back shitloads of alcohol and not get pissed. Richie from Boston. Like, share, subscribe, or don't.